Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 34.3. And for this, I actually wanted to kind of talk, so I went back on the virus, and you can hear, it, it, we get a little bit of a delay, we got a delay going here. And I always personally find it better to recreate the effects often in the device that you are sampling on. So let's just go in and see what we can do. So just a delay. I think we can go find something. We can pick like the SX delay. And that's probably got too much feedback in it. So let's hit remain. I'm gonna hold it up. I think a 50-50 balance is fine. We want zero feedback. Okay, it's going like a double tap, maybe 25% feedback or something. Let's see. No, that's too much. 10. Yeah, it's not much, it's not a whole lot. Yeah, it's not, it kind of sound like about 5%. And now the nice thing here is playing it this way, and I wanted to show you, is we can play it, and it's gonna sound, doing it this way, it's gonna sound closer to what we just sampled. And there are other S, uh, delays in the SP404 Mark II, so it's definitely worth exploring and kind of seeing what the sound of it likes, but if we're just trying to get the character of it, this is how I would go about doing it. Anyway, from here, the thing that we can do that's nice is if we go to chromatic, I can now play and it should match because it's going to match the pitch, but the, the delay is going to sound the same. So it's going to be kind of like this. And it sounds, it sounds pretty similar to me. I, like, I know we just did the sample, but it's in that space where it is working for me. And, you know, we could still even go in and add in some extra effects on top of this if we wanted to. We could go back to a type A, so bus one goes into bus two. We can exit out of here, switch over to bus two. We could take like the cassette sim and go to back to chromatic. And just have something that you can kind of play with here. You know, if you like the cassettes, whoop. you know, we get some wow and flutter. You can put some catch on it just to have it have some different character than what we recorded. There's a lot of things that you can do to kind of do si uh, sound design here. I'm going to turn that off though. And just say, um, you know, leverage what you can in the box because this is, if I do this the other way and we sample, I'm gonna, I'll record now with the delay imprinted on it. So I mean that, that should sound exactly the same as what we just played. Here's the problem though. If we go to chromatic, you can hear that the delay's running faster as we go up. and it's going slower as we go down. So this is why I would say, unless that's an effect that you want, make sure you are recording as clean a sample off of an external device, typically no delay and no reverb at least, because that's going to uh, change how you experience that sound and then reapply those things in your sampler. Anyway guys, I hope this helps. Keep making music, keep having fun and peace.